Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is L, and I'm going to be bringing you a team deathmatch on the map Underground. Uh, but first, I wanted to say thank you to all my supporters. Uh, it was nice to see the positive feedback and the constructive criticism on my last video. It was also nice to know that you guys liked the video, and uh, I hope to apply the constructive criticism to this video. Uh, also, if you guys have any uh, ideas on what I should do for my next commentary, uh, please leave a comment, um, and I hoped that you guys will enjoy this commentary. Anyway, hopping to the gameplay. Uh, this window right here I'm throwing a flashbang through. It's actually a really nice tactical advantage because instead of having to pop out into the open to throw a flashbang, uh, you don't. You can throw it through that window and um, you have like pretty much zero probability of dying. So it has a really nice tactical set to it. And if you guys haven't noticed, I really like playing tactical because uh, it makes for good gameplays and it also makes the game a lot more fun because um, you're not dying as often and you can actually get some good kill streaks going. Uh, and uh, I know a lot of people might disagree with this, but playing the game tactically, I think, is the most or is the best way to play the game. Uh, instead of the whole running gun thing that most people um, make this game out to be, I actually like being strategic. Like right here, set, um, I set up so that um, if anyone comes that down that hallway, I have the advantage. And for those of you who don't know, setting up is just giving yourself the advantage in a gunfight. Like right here, I'm behind that uh, uh, janitor's cart, and uh, I have the advantage because... I know where the guy who was shooting at my teammate was, but I, uh, he had no idea that I was behind that janitor's card. And having that advantage will really help you in the game, because having the advantage will be the difference between winning and losing a gunfight. Uh, especially in this game, where a few bullets could change the uh, outcome of a gunfight. On the topic of having the advantage, gun choice is a really big part of having the advantage. For example, uh, assault rifles and LM LMGs, those are good for mid to long range. Submachine guns and shotguns are good for close range. And uh, sniper rifles, for the most part, are good for long range. The M16A4, for example, is pretty decent at to far range, but once you get to close quarters, it's not that great. Why? Because if you get into mid to far range like this, you're able to shoot more than a few bursts. But if you get into close range like that, you probably are going to lose. And besides the fact that I had the, my back turned to him, if we got into equal gunfight, he probably would have won because he had a fully automatic gun. I had a three burst, and by the time I got that second or third burst off, I probably would have had, I probably would have been behind one, one to one and a half bullets. Um, but yeah, that's why having good gun choice is uh, essential for having the advantage in gunfights. Anyway, back to tactics. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to start pushing towards the center of the train station. And right here, I set up right behind these ticket meters things. And that, that was really good setting up because that guy probably could see very minimal part of my, my head. And I can completely see him since he was standing out in the open. Uh, anyway, after I die, I push back towards the center building. And uh, I check over here and I see my teammate died over there. So I ru rush towards this area and kill the guy who picked off my teammate. And then I come back behind these ticket eaters yet again. And then I go back to this back area, which is a really good area for uh, playing defensive. Because of all those, um, because of all the desks and chairs that you can hide behind and clip off of. Um, after I respawn, I start pushing towards the uh, train station yet again. And then I see this guy. And the only reason I won the gunfight was because of gun choice. So, gun choice is important. And the reason I won uh, that gunfight because of my gun choice was because he had an M16A4. I don't know if you could tell, but... Uh, and I had a PP90M1. And in close quarters, uh, submachine guns always win. Oh, right here, I do some two really dumb things. Uh, first of all, I engage in a gunfight, a long-range gunfight with an SMG. And second, I do this. Look at this. I have really, really low health, and I have like five bullets left in this clip. Luckily, though, his back was turned to me, so I was able to get that kill and continue on my kill streak. So I push back towards their spawn, but since there's no one here and I see my teammate, uh, I go back to, to the uh, underground tunnel and start pushing back towards the center building yet again. As I push towards the center building, 
I start to veer off into this hallway uh, to the right and as you can see I get this really lucky knife right here and then I beat, or I kill this guy and the reason is because of my gun choice so if you're gonna take anything away from this gameplay remember gun choice is important and it will help you win games and it can also be the difference between winning and losing a gun battle uh, I turn around and start pushing towards the center building yet again uh, and this gameplay is wrapping up so guys if you like the gameplay please give it a like or uh, subscribe or maybe a favorite if you have any constructive criticism please leave it in the comment section uh, final score 14 and 4 uh, thanks for watching guys later